Hey and welcome. In this video, I'm going to use a 100 watt solar panel, mono crystalline, shown here. I've made a small coil out of this uh, nichrome wire, which uh, corresponds to about 4 ohms of resistance. And we're going to measure the current generated when we connect the nichrome coil to the solar panel. We're measuring DC current and let's see what that corresponds to. So we're getting about 3.8 amp, uh, amps. Let's figure out what voltage we're getting across that coil. So here goes. About 17 volts. So 17 times about 3.8 Will give you the amount of power that we're getting in our little heater which is right here I have water about 200 cc's or 300 cc's of water in this dual vessel and it's getting nice and hot as you can see there it's getting ready to boil here's our water boiling brought to the boil and here's our coil, which is made of nichrome wire. I basically wound it around a pencil until I got 4 ohms of resistance, 4 or 5 ohms. Put it back in. And that easily gets the water boiling within minutes. So there you are, a solar powered water heater for whatever you plan to do. You could make tea with it. Nichrome is pretty inert to water and uh, just acts as a heating element. Make sure that the loops of the nichrome wire are not touching each other because that would just short the current through and you would essentially get no heating. So here's our boiling. Thanks for watching and please check back for more videos.